Hi, I'm Bepper. That is a really cool painting of a whale, and you are watching one of my videos. Let's get into it. So, hold on. First of all, I need to change my den. This one is completely ugly. I hate the barn dens. They're just too bright green. Like, look at this gross green. I don't like it. It's good for green screening and nothing else. So, let's go to this one. I don't know what's here, but let's go. Oh, there's nothing in this den, as usual. Oh, there's a plant. A singular plant. I never decorate my dens. It's a problem. Today, I am going to be doing an inventory update. Whoa, my voice just went all like crackly. I don't know if you heard that, but that's scary because my brother's voice is horrible and it just sounded like that for half a second. I mean, I have been kind of sick lately. Like last night, I got like a really weird like fever thing. Like I was overheating so much and I don't know why. So overall, I'm okay. I just do not want my voice to sound all gross. Actually, on the topic of Apari, he kind of inspired me. I mean, he didn't really inspire me. He didn't really do anything, but I saw a video that he posted on his channel called an inventory update. And those used to be really, really big back in the day. And actually one of my first videos ever on this channel was an inventory update featuring Apari. Here it is. It's called Animal Jam Account Update. And that was like a long time ago. It was published on September 6th, 2013. And I don't know about the math, but I think that's like about five years ago. So yeah, I haven't really done one of these in a while. I think I've only done like two or three ever on my channel. And not only that, but I've been doing a lot of live streams and on those live streams, I get gifts and I do giveaways. So I'm getting and replacing like a lot of items 24 seven. Yesterday I got Scormy Jr. My brand new very own furry hat, magenta furry hat that is. So a lot of things have changed in my inventory, so I kind of just want to show them off to you and show you what I've got. So instead of starting out with clothing, as you might think I was going to do, I'm actually going to start off with my currency. So for gems, I have 7,273,939 gems, which is kind of outrageous. I don't know how I got that many. Then up next for tickets, which I'm really annoyed about, I have 3,988. And the thing is, I hate having tickets year round. See, in the summer carnival, you get tickets, but then the summer carnival goes away and you can't spend them anymore. And then you just kind of have them there. And I hate it. And it's so annoying. I I also have 164 diamonds because you know gotta have those diamonds those sweet sweet diamonds and now we are moving on to clothing items so for clothing items i really only keep my rares and things that i use on outfits so I have this furry hat a bunch of fox hats here a rare eyeball hat i do not like eyeball hats they're creepy and i don't like them as you can see i have a lot of fox hats and a lot of eyeball hats and i don't know why and i don't know what they're worth i also have a ton of these viking hats i also don't know what they're worth oh well they kind of just hang out i love this this is like one of my favorite items it's a little small top hat and i love how they spelled it small like the meme then i have this magenta frying pan i don't even know what it's worth i mean it's magenta so it might be good but it's probably not good because i don't know they sell a lot of magenta items now. It's just kind of a thing. And then here we have Sethi Jr., of course. And then you keep scrolling down. We got a little lion's mane, some sheep hats. They're pretty cool. Some New Year's party hats. Once again, really don't know what those are worth, but I know that they're kind of rare now, I guess. And scrolling down even further, we have Sebastian, my second ever hat. And for a while, I thought it was just going to be Sebastian, but then I got Sethi Jr. And then I got Scormy Jr. Now I'm a mother of four. Right here, we have my masks, which I'm pretty proud of. I don't know. I kind of want to collect them all. It's like a collectible little item, but I don't know if I'm actually ever going to do that because I know that they are pretty rare so I don't really know if I'll have the time or be able to find them in the first place. Then some more New Year's party hats. Once again, don't really know what these are worth. I just know that they're rare and if I'm ever going to trade them, I'm just going to look at the Instagram account Animal Jam Rarity because they are pretty good with all the rares and stuff. Then right here, my beta hood. I used to have two of these but then I traded one away to get Scorming Jr. So obviously he's not here with us today. Now down here, you're going to notice that it's pretty organized and that's because I switched accounts for a brief moment in time to an account called Kosho and then I decided to switch back to Bepper about a year later and so I just have it all organized from when I traded all of my items back over. So we have some Viking hats, all of the Mech Angel helmets. I really don't know what these are worth. Probably not a lot but oh well. Then Sylvester, my firstborn son. And then we just have some random head items, obviously some beautiful sunglasses. And then top hats, and I don't know why the first thing I thought to put on this account was my rare scary cat hat, but I did, so... Yeah, anyway, let's move on to neck items. So in my neck items, it's mostly spiked collars and ties and stuff like that because I do like a good tie. So just a bunch of spikes as you can see, a bow tie another tie. So another tie. This is a little necklace. I love that necklace. It's so cute. Then down here we have some eclipse items. We got some golden binoculars from the Animal Jam box. Another tie, of course. Greeley necklace, another Greeley necklace, another tie, another tie, another tie. Some more necklaces, another Greeley necklace, some more black spiked collars up here. 
and then a tie and it's organized down here with my little beards because as I mentioned I switched accounts and then switched back so here's just my little stockpile of beards I have every single color and I'm very proud of that and I love them even though they're not very rare anymore that's okay now on to the back items and you're going to notice that none of these are really rare and most of them are store-bought items that's because there's just not that many rare back items to begin with at least i don't think so anyway and also i think that store-bought items look much better on an outfit than rares except for worn blankets worn blankets always look amazing but anyway as i scroll through you're gonna see a ton of worns and a bunch of just random little tiny rares like for example the lucky tuxedo the rare bat wings the rare bow and arrows but for the most part it's worn blankets and bat wings and things you can find in stores like these tuxedos oh i love the tuxedos and of course my wings and then down here just some little warns again i have way too many warns actually let's search up worn and see how many i have too many that is too many worn blankets why do i have all those i i don't know anyway moving on to leg items and in this section you're gonna notice that i have a lot of wristbands just like way too many way more than is acceptable of wristbands and a lot of elf bracelets as well i believe those are all organized at the bottom and gloves and stuff like that but that's about it i don't think i keep many other leg items except for these socks they're pretty cute as you can see it's, it's literally mostly all spikes of course some eclipse items because you can't throw those away and then a little glove right here a little light up paw ring those are pretty cute some more spikes like literally everything is just spikes in this section oh i love these little slippers they're also from the animal jam box some more light up rings i don't know why i have so many of these more spikes anyway moving on further we have some more heart rings we have a glitched ring which is like my rarest foot item i guess got some golden dragon gloves and a golden legendary glove and then finally all of my elf bracelets in abundance down here next up for tail it's a very short short section most of it's tail armors obviously i do have every single scully because i decided that i wanted to buy every single scully when they were in stores and stegosaurus tails because they're just like awesome and i love them i mean not on this character because they just look weird but for like bunnies and stuff they look awesome some eclipse items and then down here are all my tail armors i don't have every single one and i really want to but i don't know if i'm ever going to achieve that goal because i'm really not that determined i mean tail armor is cool but like not that cool so oh well so next up we're going to take a look at my den items and to do this i'm going to open up my trade list so you can see every single one so all of these items that you're seeing up here is every single item that i use for my castle den because even when i switched accounts to kosho i did not destroy that den that den was just way too special to me so i left it as it was and kept all of those items on this account and now after all of those items you're going to see everything that i transferred back over to bepper once i stopped using kosho i got a nice towel plaque open signs a bunch of epic plushies and stuff i got every single one pretty proud of that then of course my plushies my first ever plushie right here and the reason it doesn't say it's my first ever item is because I transferred that over to Kosho. Man, I don't know why I transferred over to Kosho because that was just like a stupid decision. Now all of my items are always going to be out of place. Right here we have a reward plaque. It's different from a howl plaque because the name is just different. Then my gingerbread gardens. And apparently these are actually pretty rare and I did not know that whatsoever. Anyway, moving on, we got a bunch of fluffy rugs and stuff. I think I used all of these items that you're about to see for a den and I ended up destroying that den later on. So yeah all of these items that i have nope don't even use them and then right here we have my emerald birthstone i love that thing because it's just so cute and it's my birthstone a little fish i have a lot of fish in my inventory for some reason i don't know why i don't i don't ever put them in dens they're like being neglected right here i have a news crew plaque i've always wanted to be in news crew but i never have gotten into news crew so i'm just like oh well i'll just take this plaque and then a bunch of plushies and stuff like that we got an ajhq plaque anyway then this section right here is from when a party gave me just a bunch of den betas for some reason he's like i don't have any room for these can you take them and so i'm like yeah i can take them and so that's literally what every single thing here is just a bunch of stuff that a party gave me like four moon dirts moon dirt used to be like so super rare and now now they're not but that's okay and a bunch of wallpapers i mean seriously it's just crazy like what how many wallpapers do you need I don't know apparently i need every single one of these so yeah i have literally every single beta wallpaper and stuff except for one and that is the wood floor which i don't know that's like the most common out of all of these and i don't have that that's like really weird open signs i love these things they're just the coolest little things i have no idea what they're worth and then of course an abundance of items from the leap year party i had to get all of them you know i just i had to then of course some greeley items just because i love this greeley tiki statue it's like the best thing ever this thing right here the ceremonial sword i love so much i have a blue phantom rug i have no idea what it's worth i think it's the least rare out of all of them 
but I'm still proud of it. I have a phantom rug and I can say that, so I'm, I'm happy. Some positive player plaque. I thought I gave all of these away, but I guess I have to give one more away. See, AJHQ, when they give you positive player plaques, they give you three, I believe. One for yourself and two to give away to others, so I guess I'll have to give away this positive player plaque. I wonder who I should give this second one to. I don't know. Maybe that'll be a future video. Do I have a second blue phantom rug? What? Since when? I didn't even know that. What the heck? And why do I have so many open signs? Yes, I'm still here. Goodness, Animal Jam. Ooh, this clock. This antique clock and this coat of arms. I love those things. Some more wallpapers and stuff like that. Ooh, I didn't know I had this. Apparently, that's pretty good. So, wow, thanks. I'm glad I'm doing an inventory update right now because I would have never known that I had this stuff. I haven't even looked at my own inventory in so long. More open signs. I don't know why I have so many of those. What the heck? And then more floors and wallpaper. Really, my den stuff is just like scattered everywhere. Here are my prized possessions in Animal Jam. My videographer plaque and my Jam ambassador plaque. Never trading those away. Sorry, everyone in the comments. But that's never being traded away ever in my entire life, ever. Ooh, and we have our first masterpiece, which is my cat prince. Look at that. That is like amazing. I love that thing. Got a dance floor. We got some rare plushies. Oh no. Here comes my shrine to Greeley. Everything Greeley related. Yep, I have it. And more Greeley stuff. I love this masterpiece made by Magalord. I mean, look at that. That's just beautiful. That's like one of my favorite masterpieces ever. As you can see, we're getting into the territory of everything being for my den. Oh, but here we have my epic den plaque. And that is actually my plaque. I was on Animal jam's epic den series so that's how i got that but for the most part most of my golden plaques are not mine except for my howl plaque my artist plaque and my epic dens plaque those are the golden ones that i've earned and all the blue ones i have earned myself so i'm pretty proud of that here's a contest plaque i actually think i did win this oh yes yes i did i did win this contest plaque because there was a new year's contest and i actually got selected to be one of the winners and i was so proud of that i was so happy of myself so those are the only plaques i've ever got what why do I have more positive player plaques? What? Since when? Since when do I have four of them? I thought I only had those two back there. I guess I have to give away three positive player plaques. Goodness, I didn't know I was hoarding those. I was supposed to give those away, and they've just been sitting in my inventory. What the heck? Another epic den plaque? Since when? What? I don't even know I had half of this stuff. Like, I'm, I'm so shocked at my own inventory. And then everything past this point is literally just store-bought because I was making a ton of dens, so you're not really gonna find anything rare. What? Another epic den plaque? How many of these do I have? What the heck? I'm being bamboozled right now. And yeah, pretty much everything past this point is just store-bought. So anyway, I'm actually going to switch my den. I know I said I wasn't going to show you my dens in this video, but I do have every single masterpiece that I have in my old barn den. So instead of scrolling through all the store-bought just to find the masterpieces, I'm just going to show you the masterpieces. Oh my god, one of my favorite masterpieces ever. We have this cat. We have this bird. I love this one. It's just so cute and I just love it. Then we have this little thing. I love this little bird. It's so good. And then this one, as I've already shown you before, the little lion, just beautiful. And I got this alpha masterpiece for like a purple long or something like that. I don't know. I just thought it was so amazing. Like all the alphas in such realistic form. It's amazing. And then this one, of course, is just really pretty. It just says life with a little thing. It's a little, little, uh, little, uh, la, 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 la. thingy. And then I have two nearly identical masterpieces with Steery Moons and the Icy XX Fires. The only difference is this one is closer up and this one is a bit further back. It's so weird. Like, they're the same exact masterpiece. Then over here, there's the masterpieces of my cat Prince, my beautiful little Siamese cat, and then this large cat, a little tiger. I love this one. And now for the final things I'm going to show you in my inventory update, my pets and then my characters, you know, my animals. So I'm just going to kind of briefly go through through these except for the ones I really want to show you guys so of course ultra puppy he's my one pet that I have an effect on so I have a bone effect on him and that is from getting 1000 golden discs one day I just stayed up until three in the morning and did it then we have my first rare pet ever which is the ladybug I love it its little name is pookie fly and after that I actually have a ton of rare pets so there's this little squirrel I love it this little cricket I mean it is the cutest little thing ever a little mouse I just it's so cute I love it so much and of course fuzzy bird i love this pet it is just the most awkward weird strange pet ever and i love it so much i actually made a video featuring this little bee and it was one of my favorite videos i will put the link in the description actually here's a squirrel i got it in a trade so i wasn't able to make the colors and stuff but i did put the outfit on it but now i'm kind of regretting the outfit i mean it just doesn't look that great we have another cricket and of course a golden bunny named gold bunny it's a pretty great name 
Then we have this firefly. I love this firefly. It's so cute and adorable. We have a bunch of phantom pets that I got. Anyway, here I have a little meerkat. It's adorable. Then another little golden bunny, which I'm pretty proud of. Yet another cricket and another ladybug. These ones are like very scary looking. I don't know why. Then of course, cloudy boy and starry sky. My beautiful poodles. I love these little dudes so, so much. Like they're my favorite pets besides ultra puppy, of course. Ultra puppy will always be my one and only. Now finally, onto my animals. I'm not going to go in depth with each one because when I do my den videos, I'm also going to show you the animal that goes along with the den. So then you'll get a more in-depth look at the character then. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of zoom through these. We have Merlin, my beautiful little raccoon. I love him very much. Anyway, continuing on further, we have my first main outfit. Or not my first main outfit, but my first like main outfit that people made like fan arts and stuff of. We have my beautiful raccoon shark. Don't tell him that he's a raccoon. He he identifies as a shark. And then for the most part down here, we have animals that are like completely blank that I still have yet to create. And that is all we have besides my dens, which I will show you in later videos. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Good. Bye. Ooh, I've been feeling it since 1966, man. I feel